Blake, 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 Blake
Tagalongs, it what? doesn't get me, you know? Like, I don't want anyone tagging along with me while they eat the cookies. Uh, that's a good point. So, Tagalong suggests that you're going to share them and you know you're not. Ooh, these are perfect. Alright. I mean, okay, so, well, so on presentation of the box and the and the trays and everything... I think ABC's ABC is probably that. a little better on yeah. that one. They're pretty identical. This one's a little yeah. more... Uh, Got a little more of a, yep. Got a little more but of a hard edge on it. That looks like there's a lump of something good under there. That would be the peanut butter. Okay, here you go. I think the cookie itself is probably better with the little brownies. Yeah, that's it looks, looks like more a better appetizing cookie. On the actual look gotta, of the cookie, that's a little brownie. Win. Yeah, yeah. Agreed. Again, tied coming into the taste. With little brownies first. All right. I like that cookie. Mm. Mm -hmm. Truth be told, this is my favorite Girl Scout cookie. Oh, it is. The peanut butter patty okay. or the tag along, definitely. That's really good. Very solid. I think I could eat this entire tray. We're not going to do right. that right now. The peanut butter patty. Mm. Way different. Mm. Peanut butter is not as creamy. No, you don't get that nice bite into the lump of it mm -hmm. at the top. And the cookie's more of like a hard cracker, I think. But you can definitely taste the difference uh, in the cookie, too. Didn't you didn't mm -hmm. say it was a vanilla cookie? It's definitely a cookie focus rather than a peanut butter focus over yep. there. Tag along, for sure, is a better cookie. Well, the peanut butter was way better to, mm -hmm. at the top. That was a little brownie win. These ones are pretty famous when people think about Girl Scout cookies. Obviously, Thin Mints are the front runner. I've heard the, of people saying Samoa is their favorite. Right. And this is uh, Caramel Delights. What do you think on these? What name is better? I'm going to do a hard pass on this. Are you serious? I'm not having a coconut cookie. Then we're going to call in a coconut egg. It wouldn't be fair. I would say they would both be losers. You're Get out of here. This is my sister, Mackenzie. Uh, she's not nearly as smart as I am, but she's really nice, and she'll do her best. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mackenzie, do you agree that the Samoas is a better name than Caramel, Caramel Delights? Absolutely. Okay, so Caramel that... is secondary to coconut in this cookie, so it doesn't need to be in the name. Oh, interesting. Uh, Little Brownie wins on the name and the box and all that, right? Mm -hmm. Okay, secondary, the cookie. Which cookie is... This one. That's better. Way better. Well, that one looks like you only baked it for half the time. Oh, yeah, it definitely... Like it's faded. You left it out in the sun too long. That gives a discount yeah. feel yep, a lot. That's it. It's also smaller. Significantly smaller. It definitely is. It definitely a smaller silhouette. Yeah. Oh, well, you look at that. Two cookies, 29 grams over here. Two cookies, 28 grams. Uh, there's the difference in size. Yep. There's the difference in size. Half of a gram per cookie. All right. Let's try them. What do you, which one do you want to go with first? And which one is this one? This is the Little Brownies, the, uh, the Samoas. Start with the other one. Okay. I like the chewiness. But is it too chewy? It's not chewy that it's like, oh, there's so much caramel. It's sort of like it is not cooked all the way. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go with the other one. That's way better. There's a nice layer of caramel on the top. It's a better cookie. The other one is like this, too, What does this one say? Too dense. Crisp cookies. Yeah, oh. this is crisper. This seems like a charlatan, a fake. It like this is a it, copy for sure. They did like eighty-five percent of the work on that cookie. <clears throat> Easy decision. Little brownie bakers wins that one by a yeah. mile. All right, appreciate your input. Time to swap out again. Thank you, Mackenzie. You chose to do a uh, celebrity vote. Yep. If that had been ABC that we chose for the last one, it would be a tie. But little brownie won three to one. The thin mints. The Tagalongs and the Samoas. Yeah. The only one that was better was the, oh, peanut, the peanut butter, butter sandwich. sandwich. That's right. That was a better cookie. Yeah. Little Brownie was more consistent on the look of the cookie, too. Not just the taste. Right. I thought at first the names were going to try to make up for a bad cookie, is what I assumed. Definitely not. No. In fact, it shows some more comprehensive overall branding quality. Yeah. yeah. Better cookie, better name. We have a question from. I want another Samoa. Oh. You have to wait. Yeah. Here. Yes. Oh, that's, that's the crap one. <laughs> Jeez. Between ABC and uh, and Little Brownie Bakers, I think it's Little Brownie by a mile. Here you go, Ken. They're the same cost. One important thing to note. Important. We'll kind of throw a curveball right now that we'll kind of end on is evidently there were many bakeries before, not just these two. Mm. And in the 90s, the National Girl Scout Council limited it down to just... Uh, Little Brownie Bakers and ABC. However, Little Brownie Bakers is a division of Keebler. 
the Keebler Cookie Company. Oh, there's the there's the secret right there. They've got elves making these things. Yeah, that's what puts it over the top. I think is little everybody guys knows, trees. Everybody knows everybody knows elves make great cookies. Yep. Well, what happens next? Do we get to eat the rest of these cookies? <laughs>